The Oil Kings are 8-7-1 through their first 16 games of the season and have won four of their last six, thanks in large part to 18-year-old goaltender Tristan Jerry, who has now adjusted to being the team's everyday guy. Well, your responsibilities change, you know, and the situation changed with him. And uh, I think being the fact that he probably played around 25, 30 games last year was a probably a lead in to the expectations that we would have for him this year. I think by his own admission, probably not the start he wanted to the season, but found a way to, uh, you know, get himself realigned and back playing that just consistent level of hockey that we've come to expect from him. It's just basically been learning to handle myself. Like you have one good game, you need to keep that even keel and make sure you're not worried about the next one. Every you go by period by period, starting with warm up, and that's how I start my games. I start in warm up, try and track every puck and see every puck to my body, and then goes from the first period on. He's got a great demeanor. I mean, in a goaltender, you you don't want to ride the highs and lows throughout a season. You want to find that, that comfortable, even keel. And I don't think I, I've ever had a goalie who's maybe done a better job of that. And even when things weren't as stellar as he might have wanted, um, it was hard to see that in him. He just you know, came to work and, and, and found his groove, and he's been playing really well for us. This is Jerry's third season on the team now, and he has come a long way from his first time on the ice as an Oil King. Yeah, it's actually funny. We were out for dinner in Regina, and I sat at the table with him, and we laughed about his first spring camp here, and uh, it was disgusting, <laughs> like watching him at spring camp by his own admission, and we laughed about it, and we could laugh about it now because he was 15 years old at the time, and now he's, uh, you know, 18, and it's and so far beyond where he was. Well, yeah, obviously my, your first camp's a real eye-opener. You get to see what it's like to play in the league and how hard the guys work. So to me, it's a real big eye-opener and to see how the coaches like to push you. So I think coming back the next year and having a chance to make the team, I really pushed myself that summer and I really wanted that spot. So that's something I really pushed myself for. And then just moving on from that, I just tried to get better and better every year. Jerry missed part of training camp this year as he was in Pittsburgh for Penguins camp. The 44th overall pick had an eye-opening experience. Well, you know, it's like your first Oil Kings camp is a real eye-opener, and you get to see what the coaches want from you and what the players want as well. Like, you're going to see a lot harder shots, and the pace is a lot higher. So you're basically just trying to keep up and push yourself to get up to that level. So I think that was my biggest focus, was just to get up to that level and do the best I could. The Oil Kings are practicing the rest of this week before kicking off a five-game road trip Sunday afternoon in Calgary. For the Sierra Seal Oil Kings Report, I'm Jordan Greenlee.